Tigers. My name is Mrs. Payne and I work in the front office and today I'm going to read you a story called Read to Tiger by S.J. Ford. I sit down on the couch and open my book. It's time to read. But I can't read because there's a tiger behind my couch. Chomp, 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 chewing gum. Aha, tiger, I shake my head. Please spit out your gum. I want to read my book, and I can't think when you chomp. Oops, the tiger says. Tiger is sorry. Tiger won't chomp. The chomping stops. I try to read my book. But I can't read my book because I hear grrr, grrr, grrr. I can't read my book because there's a tiger behind my couch pretending to be a bear. Aha, tiger, please take off my bear costume right now. You're going to rip it. And will you please stop growling? I tell the tiger, I can't concentrate. Can't you see that I'm trying to read? Oops, the tiger says. Tiger is sorry. Tiger won't be a bear anymore. The tiger takes off my bear costume and stops growling. I pick up my book again and try to read. But it's very hard to read when there's a karate tiger. Hi-ya, behind your couch. Hi-ya, hi-ya, hi-ya. Tiger, stop. Now isn't a good time to work on your karate kicks. I want to read my book. Oops. Tiger is very sorry. Tiger won't do karate kicks. No more karate, Tiger. The tiger stops high yang. I try to read, but coming around my couch. Choo, 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 choo. There's a tiger riding my toy train and blowing a whistle. Aha, tiger, get off that train right now. Stop choo-chewing and stop toot-tooting. I want to read. Can't you be quiet? Oops, tiger is very sorry. Tiger can be quiet, the tiger says. The tiger stops choo-chewing and toot-tooting. I try to read my book again. Suddenly, creak, crack, creak, crack, creak, crack, creak, crack, ah! My couch is flying up in the air because there's a tiger under it. Tiger, put me down. What in the world are you doing under the couch? Tiger is looking for the whistle. Tiger lost it. The tiger sniffles. I help the tiger find the whistle. Then I say, Tiger, please sit down right here and be very very quiet so I can read my book, okay? Okay, Tiger will sit down. Tiger will be very, very, very quiet, the tiger whispers. The tiger plops down on the floor in front of me, and he is very, very quiet. He doesn't make another sound. No chomp chomping, no brr brrling, no hi ya hi ya no choo 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 tooting, not even any crick, crack, crick, crack, cracking. I hold my book up in front of my face so I can see that I can't see the tiger. I try to concentrate. All of a sudden, I think I see a little shadow on my book. I do see a shadow. Then I think I see a whisker. I do see a whisker. Then I see a nose. Then I see a whole tiger in front of my book. Tiger, what are you doing? You're in the way. I can't see my book. I am trying to read. What's that? The tiger asks. The tiger points to the picture in my book. That's the tiger in the story, I tell him. A tiger? The tiger shouts. Then he jumps on the couch. And he fluffs the couch cushions and curls up beside me. And finally, I can read my book to Tiger. 
I hope you enjoyed that story, and we will see you next week.